Recall that the Archimedean property tells us for any values of a and b in the real numbers, if a is positive, then there will always be a natural number n satisfying the inequality b is less than n times a. Thinking about the Archimedean property as a tool that we can use in our proofs, the Archimedean property is essentially able to do one job. It's able to prove for us that natural numbers exist satisfying certain inequalities. In a sense, that is its only job, but it's a job that it's very good at. For an example of how this works, let's look at a slightly complicated example. We're going to prove for all values of x in the real numbers, if x is greater than 1, then we can always find a natural number n for which the expression n plus 1 over n is less than x. The idea here is that if x is greater than 1, even if x is very, very close to 1, the sequence of numbers n plus 1 over n, which includes numbers like 2 over 1, 3 over 2, 4 over 3, 5 over 4, and so on. This sequence of numbers gets so close to 1 when n gets large that we can make it closer to 1 than x is, regardless of how close x gets to the number 1. Let's try to prove this. Of course, since this is a statement for all values of x in the real numbers, we begin by letting x be an arbitrary real number. Next, since this is a conditional statement, we need to make the assumption that x is greater than 1. And now we need to demonstrate the consequent, which says there is at least one natural number n for which n plus 1 over n is less than x. Noticing that at this point in the proof we have to demonstrate the existence of a natural number that satisfies a certain inequality, we might consider using the Archimedean property. Let's get out a scrap piece of paper. Again, the Archimedean property says for any values of a and b in the real numbers, if a is greater than zero, then there will always be a natural number n satisfying the inequality b is less than a n. What we have is an arbitrary real number, x, that we've assumed is greater than one. And from that, we're trying to get the existence of a natural number that satisfies this inequality, n plus one over n is less than x. The trouble with our inequality is that it doesn't look anything like the type of inequality we can get from the Archimedean property. But perhaps with a little bit of manipulation, we can make it look a little more similar. If we take the inequality that we're trying to get and multiply both sides by n, we get n plus 1 is less than x times n. This is starting to look a little more like the type of inequality that we can get from the Archimedean property. But notice that in the Archimedean property, it has the n on the larger side and no n's on the smaller side. And so we might want to do a little more manipulation here. If we gather all of the n's together on the right-hand side, we get the expression 1 is less than x times n minus n. Factoring out the n on the right-hand side, we get the inequality 1 is less than n times x minus 1. This is now looking a lot more like the type of inequality we can get from the Archimedean property. We just need to use as a value for b the number 1 and as a value for a the number x minus 1. The only question is, is x minus 1 a valid choice for a? Because the Archimedean property says that your choice for a has to be greater than 0. But remember we have the assumption that x is greater than 1. And so if we subtract 1 from both sides of that inequality, we get the inequality 0 is less than x minus 1. And that tells us x minus 1 is positive, which means it's a perfectly valid choice for the number a. Let's return to the proof. To apply the Archimedean property, now that we know what our choices for a and b are going to be, we can say, since x is greater than 1, subtracting 1 from both sides gives us that x minus 1 is positive. And this means, from the Archimedean property, we get the existence of a natural number n for which 1 is less than n times x minus 1. This is just using 1 as the value of b and x minus 1 as the value of a. From here, we can use the principle of existential instantiation to introduce this natural number n that we know exists as a constant into our proof. We can do this with a statement that says, let n be a natural number, satisfying the inequality 1 is less than n times x minus 1. Now that we have this inequality, we can start to manipulate it to make it look a little more like the inequality we're trying to get. If we expand the right-hand side, we get the inequality 1 is less than nx minus n. Adding n to both sides gives us n plus 1 is less than xn. And multiplying both sides by the inverse of n 
then gives us n plus 1 over n is less than x. And that's exactly the inequality we're trying to get. We can now say that there is at least one value of n, the one that we got from the Archimedean property, that satisfies our inequality, n plus 1 over n is less than x. All that remains is to make our conclusions.